G'day. Now, if you haven't been here before, my name is Jenny and I'm a mum of 16 children. Now, eight of our kids still live at home at the moment and we live here in Australia. Now, this meat haul and freezer prep, um, I did this before Easter and I'm still catching up. So um, I finally got around to editing this vlog. So thanks for stopping in to watch it. Now I have checked my fridges and freezers. I've made a trip to the butcher and I'm going to show you what I bought. Now I bought some sausages. I got two strings of them. These are thin beef sausages and I bought about eight and a half kilos. I normally just pack these into a meal size for our family and we'll just cook them when we need them. So we'll just pop them on the barbecue but sometimes I will pre-cook them into a meal and then freeze those. Now this enormous bag of meat is some barbecue steak. It is just over eight kilos worth. Now today I'm going to just pack that into meal sizes again and any of the leftover bits that I cut off, I will turn that into a pre-cooked meal. I bought lots of chicken breast fillets. This is just on six and a half kilos worth. and I bought some lamb chops. Now there are six chops to a bag and we need two bags per meal. So somehow I ended up with seven bags. So I will freeze the other bag into some single serves which we will use for lunches. Everybody here in this house loves lamb chops. There's never any leftovers. Now I bought these two packs of chicken kebabs. Um, I can make my own, but these ones are really, really nice. So I grabbed a couple of extra packs. I do have one in the freezer. Now for our size family to sit down and have chicken kebabs, we probably need two to three packs of these, um, but they're all different flavors. So we'll probably use it up on those nights where there's um, only a few family members here and we can just use one pack for the meal. I bought a full box of Dagwood dogs. Now these are also called Pluto pups and folks were telling me in the last video that these are also called corn dogs overseas. Um, these are really great just as a, a, a quick lunch and I have discovered that they are amazing when they are cooked in the air fryer. Now I picked up two of these little packs of chicken mini roast. Now this is definitely a treat. This is not what I would normally buy in our meat order, but I like to pack these into a single serve. So there's four in the pack and I just freeze them. And if there's an opportunity where hubby can come home for lunch or there's only a few of us at home, we can cook those. Now I bought some beef mince. So this is like ground beef. Uh, they had it pre-packed into two kilo bags and I bought four of those. So it was just tipping over the eight kilos worth of mince. Uh, it's beautiful premium mince. There's not a lot of fat in it. And mince is one of those things that's very versatile and it's cheap to buy. Now I spent a total of $499 at the butchers and I'm also going to be prepping up some chicken drumsticks that I bought from the supermarket. Now I just use regular plastic Ziploc bags to put our meals in for the freezer. Now because we've got a big family, our stock is being turned over quite frequently. It's okay just to use a regular plastic bag. But if you're going to be stocking up your freezer and the meals are going to be in there for quite some time, you might want to buy some thicker plastic bags or perhaps some reusable bags and then a machine that you can um, seal them and take the air out of the bags. Now when you are putting your meals into the bags for the freezer, make sure that you label them because once meals are frozen, sometimes it's a little hard to figure out what's in there. So write what you have cooked or what you've put in there. And also it might be helpful to write down how many of those things are in there. So if you're putting steak into a bag, if you're packing four pieces or six pieces, just write on the side the number of serves that are in there and make sure you seal the bag well. Now, when you're labeling the bags, if you are packing them into an upright freezer, 
you will want to write along the base of the bag so you can see it when you look into the freezer. But if you are packing them into a chest freezer and you're lifting the lid and you're looking down at the products, you're going to want to write on the front of the bag. Before you start prepping the meals, make a list of everything that you are going to cook. First, I'm going to pack all the meat into their serving sizes. And obviously we need more per serve for our size family. So just work out what your family needs and pack that amount. Now, when you have packed all the meat into the bag or your pre-cooked meal, make sure you lay it down flat and you get any of the air out of there. You will fit so much more into your freezer if you've packed them nice and flat and then you can stack them on top of each other. Now I'm going to be making some smoky barbecue beef. I'm just cooking up the beef, adding in some bacon and some onion, and I'm just using a store-bought marinade. Now there's nothing wrong with buying store-bought marinades. Unless you have a pantry that is fully stocked with lots of herbs and spices, lots of different seasonings, sometimes it's cheaper just to buy a jarred sauce or a packet mix. So don't ever feel bad about using something that you've just bought straight from the store. You can also add in extra ingredients if you like. Now those chicken drumsticks I got from the supermarket, I'm going to marinate them and freeze as well. Now one of these, I'm just adding a seasoning pack and some water. When you've sealed it up, make sure you turn it over a few times so that the seasoning is all over the chicken drumsticks. The other one is going to be apricot chicken, so I'm just adding a packet of French onion soup mix, some apricot nectar. Um, you can actually put your onion slices in this bag as well and then seal it up and pop it in the freezer. I cooked up the beef mince, added in some carrots and some cabbage. Normally I would put some celery through this as well, but I forgot to buy the celery, so this chow mein is going to have to be celery free. I added in all of my spices and then I have bagged them ready for the freezer. Now I've cooked up the chicken that I have diced and I have added a honey mustard store-bought sauce. I added in extra mustard and some extra honey. The rest of the chicken I cut into slightly larger pieces. I just cooked it gently in the pan and I added extra peanut butter. 
and I added a satay sauce. Now you can always personalize a store-bought sauce to suit your own taste. So if your family has a preference for how they like the meal to taste, then you can add anything else in there that suits you. Now when I'm freezing the meals, I often stack them in my upright freezer first and make sure you move them a couple of times while they're freezing, otherwise they might stick together and it makes it really difficult to get the bags apart because sometimes the meals are still a little bit warm when they're going into the freezer and they will stick together and make it really difficult. So every few hours just go and move the bags around a little bit. Once mine are fully frozen, then I move them out to the big freezer. Don't forget to keep a list of what you've made. That will make it easier for you when you're writing out your weekly meal plan. Ordering meat in bulk, buying large amounts, will make it a cheaper cost per meal. Now you will save money and time when the meals are prepped and especially when you've got some pre-cooked ones in the freezer. And it will be much easier for your kids to help out with dinner time because all you have to do is pull the meal out of the freezer, pop it straight in the pan. You don't even have to defrost it. You can cook it straight from frozen, heat it through, and then put on a side and get it onto the table for your family. Now, of course, by the time I have this video uploaded, we will have been eating some of those meals in the freezer already. But I know that I had 17 full family pre-cooked meals in there. Now, of course, we've got a big family. So if you have a smaller family and you were buying the same amount of meat, you could have double, even triple the amount of meals made. I also had four lots of steak in a meal size so again if you have a smaller family that would go much further for you eight bags of sausages for us the kebabs one big meal if i use all three packets but um we'll probably just use them as i said for when there's less people at home here so that's an extra three meals the dagwood dogs we use those for lunches they disappeared very fast um, but we, we got three lunches out of that. Lamb chops, we ended up with three full meals out of those and some single serves as well. The little mini chicken roasts, yes, there were eight of those. So that's eight single serves for them. And I also had nine single serve meals that our older kids will take to work with them. And they can just pop them in the microwave and eat them for lunch. So thanks for watching me cook all of those meals up and we will see you in the next video. God bless.